And Mr. Brown, the best one-armed barber in the world. Unabashedly claiming his world-renowned stature, Harold Brown's right arm glides the razor over a student at the American Barber Institute. His non-functioning left arm is the result of a birth defect, a malady that haunted him for years. I've been called all type of one-armed names growing up as a child. I grew up not loving myself. Always had to, like, prove myself to people. Growing up in Jamaica, Queens, Brown fell into the darkness of crime and spent more than 30 years in and out of prison until one day... I was tired of doing wrong. I needed to do something right in life. I was at rock bottom and had nothing and nowhere to turn. He gets emotional as he remembers guidance he received from a fellow inmate named Desperado. He taught me how to cut hair. The more I cut, the better I became. The whites showed me how to cut the whites hair. The blacks showed me how to cut the blacks hair. The Hispanics showed me how to cut their hair. Back in society, Brown got his first break at barbering at a shop in Harlem and later was enlisted as a teacher at the American Barber Institute in Manhattan. I love teaching people how to cut hair. I love my students. I love every student I, that I've met, every last one of them, and they love me back. See, we should love this team. Well, <laughs> That's what we do. Brown said he never considered barbering with one arm to be a real problem for him. I never had two hands to use in learning the craft of barbering, so I always had to use one hand. I had to learn to have a razor hand. I had to learn to have how to use the machines. I had to learn that. And But once I learned it, I got it. The hardest part about cutting hair with one arm is when a person see you with that one arm and doubt you. Aside from cutting hair, barbers are also known to give shaves. The barber must have a razor hand. And Brown certainly did, as I bravely endured a clean shave. Yes, we are. We're doing great. Brown takes pride in the students he's taught barbering, including Umberto Arras, who now teaches the craft. Mr. B. He taught me a lot of techniques and methods, even with his one arm, and it really, you know, changed the way that I saw barbering. Despite what anybody may feel about you, if you love yourself and believe in yourself, you can make it. A clergyman once observed that life's best success comes after disappointment. Harold Brown turned life's disappointment into opportunity and success, never considering himself handicapped, but rather handicapable.